Greetings from the farm. Hope you're well. So good to have you back with us here on the Mondo Farms channel. I'm at Westgate today. I've just arrived at the farm and one of the things I wanted to do while I was here looking at our onions, um, which are about to harvest there, was to have a look at some of the things that I've brought with me, um, some of the supplies that we have, uh, the things that we use here on the farm, and take you through each of them, what they are and what it is we use them uh, for here at the farm. Stay with us. So a very quick overview of what we have. We have some fuel, we have some fertilizers, and we have some buffer, and we have a foliar fertilizer here. Next to the diesel is two bags of soluble fertilizers. Now they're both from Omnia, very similar, but also a little bit different. The clue is in the K. K stands for potassium, and potassium is used on places like these, where you've got vegetables that are bulbing and potassium is used to basically help out the and speed up the um, fruit formation, the final stages of a plant. If you've been watching our channels and you know a little bit about farming, you know that the vegetables, the plants as they're growing, they need various elements at different times of their growth. Starting at the very, very, very beginning, when they are establishing themselves in the ground, the seedlings and the coming out of seeds, they need phosphorus. Phosphorus helps them to, to establish the roots. The next phase is called the vegetative phase, and that's when they need nitrogen. They are building themselves. They need calcium. Calcium, just like you do when you take calcium for your bones, the, the plant structure also needs that. And then towards the end, when we reach what we call the finishing stage, that's when they need uh, potassium. So on the left here, we have Vita K. Vita K, K for potassium. That's something that's really, really, really important for all farmers to always remember. Vita K is potassium sulfate. As you can see here, it's got a K of 420, a sulfur of 180 in the grams per kg. This on this side is Omni K. Omni K is potassium nitrate. It's got a K of 380 and an N of 130. Before I say anything else about the difference between the um, sulfate and the nitrate, let's also remember that these are water soluble. Both of them are water soluble, 25 kgs. Water soluble means that we can be, we'll be able to apply them either as a foliar spray or through the, um, the drips themselves uh, using a venturi or fertigation. So we have two um, fertilizers that both contain potassium and in slightly different configurations. As I said before, potassium sulfate and potassium nitrate. A lot of the stuff about fertilizers in farming, it's one of the most technical things that you just, if you're going to succeed at farming, you just need to get to know it and understand what it is. And if you remember the chemistry that you did and biology in school, it all starts coming together. For example, we talk about potassium sulfate. Potassium as we said, helps with the bulbing process, the final finishing. They can't apply potassium on its own. It's just not possible. All these chemicals um, have to come in the form of one of these mineral compounds. So the other one that they put in here is sulfate. Now, sulfur is really, really, really important to crops. It helps um, form amino acids and especially for chlorophyll, which, as you know, is the key to photosynthesis and how crops create their food. Nitrogen, potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is going to help us with a little bit of nitrogen because, okay, it's a complicated thing. But they say that when your onions are bulbing, you don't want to be putting too much nitrogen. But there's still a stage where they are still bulbing and some of them are still bulbing and whatever it is. So Omnia, in its great wisdom, has produced um, two various forms of um, K um, water soluble fertilizers, Omni K and Vita K. So this one we will apply apply in certain areas where we still have a little bit of bulbing and the crop still needs a little bit of food. Sometimes, for example, you'll have a situation whereby the crop still has some sort of disease or some struggle that it is, and it's still starting to bulb, but you still need to get it past the finish line. 
finishing crops towards the end is very much like finishing having your children finishing school it it starts out really easy when the kids are in nursery and then it starts to get increasingly complicated if you've ever tried helping a secondary school child with homework you know how complicated things get and that's the same situation that we have as farmers when we look at our onion crops like this side and at this side um, we've got to handle each of these ones quite differently so these are the two um, water soluble fertilizers uh, that we that I've brought with me here that we're using um, across the farm, across the various uh, stages of products um, that we have. Now let's talk about hygrobuff. This is a very, very, very important um, substance that we use here on the farm. Hygrobuff is a brand of buffer. As it says here, hygrobuff 4, so this is buffer number 4. Why do we need buffers on the farm? Sometimes in farming, things get a little bit technical and I could give you the long version of it to do with adjuvants and oh, all of that stuff. But let me just simply put it. A buffer is a substance that we add to our sprays, whether it's herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, that makes them work much, much better. So for example, if your water is alkaline or acidic, it will neutralize the pH. So buffer number four is one of the best things that we actually use and this is a brand from Hygrotech near the showgrounds where we actually which we which we've actually come to trust quite a bit so we are very careful when we are spraying our foliar sprays our insecticides and our pesticides to add in a buffer to make sure that the chemicals that we're putting in are as effective as possible and last but not least of the items that I bought with me today at the farm is a couple of bottles of this substance. It's called Novamax and we get it from AgriFocus and it is a liquid micronutrient fertilizer containing seaweed extract. Novamax is one of the uh, boosters that we apply to our crops and we use it especially in instances like now where our plants are, are stressed. The last time they were very stressed was when we had extreme rainfall um, around about February, March and then again there was a lot of stress to the plants back in May, June, July when we had winter. So right now it's about the heat. We're in mid-September and we're beginning to see um, some flaccidity in some of our uh, leaves and stuff so we decided the booster that we'll use this week is Novamax so Novamax we've used it for a while uh, from AgriFocus an excellent excellent product that really helps the plants to sort of be stronger a booster so that's a very very quick look at some of the products that we use uh, here on the farm in order to grow our vegetables to the best possible uh, way growth that they can actually be we've talked about your fertilizers uh, water soluble potassium rich fertilizers from Omnia we've talked about Hygrobuff um, from Hygrotech Hygrotech much respect Jacob and the guys there and also Novamax which is from AgriFocus another one of the products that we really 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 appreciate I take time to share some of the products that work for us I'm not saying you should go out there and get them and use them but these are the ones that work for us so we hope that they might also if you do give them a try you'll have our sort of guidance on what we do with them and why we have them here at the farm nice to have you with us here again on the Mondo Farms channel. I've got to go and get on with some work for what I actually came for, but I just stopped for a minute um, to share this with you. Speaking of sharing, if you like this video and you know other people who would benefit from hearing more about some of the chemicals that we use um, here at Mondo Farms, then please share this on your Facebook groups, on your other social media groups. Um, if you like the video, please, please, please press the thumbs up button. Uh, that would really help us with the algorithm them and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel subscribing is really good it means that YouTube always lets you know when a video comes up and YouTube knows the kind of things that you like so if you are into developing a farm um, into vegetable farming then we'd really like to have you as one of our subscribers uh, also if you press that bell icon then YouTube will let you know via notification when a new video comes which is run about every uh, week to ten days or so uh, I'm so glad to have you with us. I gotta go now. Uh, we'll see you soon on the Mondo Farms channel. Shalani po. Bye bye.